That is such a shame. I was really looking forward to this game. Basically, there's a player that plays for Shakhtar that I really wanted to see again because we haven't seen him in a long time. And by a long time, I mean since the summer, which is absolutely awful. I do miss this guy. He was very important for us. And um, wait, do you, do you have no idea who I'm talking about? Did I, did I forget to? Oh, well, in that case, yeah, Belich has joined Shakhtar. Yeah, um, I, I forgot. I forgot to mention uh, he, he joined them for uh, twelve million. And the worst part is he can't play today. Hi guys, Mr. Space reported for duty, and welcome back to another episode of my save with Partisan. And unfortunately for today's viewers and for myself, we're not seeing Belich in this game. Even better, we're not seeing a certain Serbian man. As well, Saldani has bruised his thigh and he'll return in three to seven days. He really doesn't like live comms, does he? But yeah, welcome back for today's game. We've had a few games that we played in between the nice little result against Valencia and today. Also played two friendlies because apparently we had two whole weeks off, which we did not really good. But we've played three games since then. And unfortunately, I'm beginning to see a trend. We are conceding a stupid amount of goals over this past few games. And to be fair, nothing really bad so far. But at the same time, we haven't kept a clean sheet since the text last game. Well, the first game back was a draw against TSC. 1-1, Popovic on the score sheet. Hudikov not having the best of games, which is not very, very good. The game after that, Vosodats 4-2. We are doing so good in terms of our attacking output. Just their defense is not... Really, really good. Um, yeah, we conceded two goals. Obviously, like I said, scored four. Estevao, a person I really wanted to say, he's developing quite well. And you probably will know who Estevao is. And I just didn't realize that he's a wonder kid because obviously this is bad. But yeah, he's like, I think if on ranking, he's like top 10, I think, most exciting prospects in the next few years. So yeah, he kind of went under the radar. Unfortunately, he's not well developed, as you can see, but. He's had a good start to the season, 7.39 rating. Maybe I should play him more. I mean, considering that his stats are quite nice and they're always growing, I mean, maybe I need to play him way more than I do. Next game, Vojvodina, and again, we couldn't keep a clean sheet. Jonathan Balingi on a score sheet once again, because who else? That guy is an absolute goat. But yeah, Jerry Sanjust, Saldani on the score sheet, and Matija Popovic once again finding the back of the net. And finally, 2-1 against Chukarički, a good result nonetheless. Sufinat Moinata, Marcus Stamenic on the score sheet, and... Yeah, another clean sheet not kept. But in games like this, it's kind of fine because we, you know, we rotated the side just so we can play Shakhtar today, as you can see. Unfortunately, we still conceded and we conceded here. So there's not really an excuse here as to why we concede, but it is what it is. In terms of an update on Martinelli, he is, <laughs> he's awkward. He's awkward as a right back. He's doing okay. His performances are fine. I think he's had a decent start of the season. I'm really, really happy for him. He needs to develop just a little bit more, and then we can call him an absolute goat. An even better thing, which I didn't actually realize until, well, he's actually come through, is that he's also part Italian, which is really nice because that means he's not a foreign player. But yeah, I was really looking forward to having the front three of Popovic, Moenata, and Saldana today for you guys, but unfortunately, that is not the case. Saldana is injured. I don't know if he actually makes the bench. No, he's properly fully injured. We're also missing Barrios, and we're also missing Basic to a long-term injury. So... The lineup is going to be pretty much the same. Some of the players are a little bit tired, so that's why Vitek starts instead of Sanjus, for example. But apart from that, everything is roughly the same. Borza, Stamenic, Barco in the back three, Stankovic and Deans in the midfield, and finally, Milovanovic, Moinata, and Popovic up front. I'm potentially thinking, do I play Reiner as the box-to-box -box or carry yellow? I don't rate Darda Stankovic anymore, unfortunately. Do I try doing something that's maybe Miladinovic? I think he deserves a shout a bit more. Yeah, let's let's go for that. But oh man, I'm so disappointed in this guy. Like he still has room to improve, but judging by the fact how he has been developing over the past few years, I think he's reached his limit. He's probably one of those players that starts up at a very high CA, but the PA is still roughly at the same spot. So he doesn't develop as much. I mean, his marking has gone up, his tackling is decent. He'll make a decent backup but i was hoping that he would be the next best player that we have the best the future halfback that he is but unfortunately he just isn't but yeah we're taking on Shakhtar today i hope that's an exciting game oh by the way we're also taking on liverpool 
I mean, it would have been really nice to see Belic. He has been such a great servant for us. It would be nice to see him at the stadium where the fans can clap him away. And it would have been nice. Maybe he would have been sitting with the fans. Who knows? Like, at this rate, the guy is a legend. As we find lots of space, Miladinovic, who has scored a goal, first goal of the season, probably first goal of the Champions League. And he was a last-minute change as well. So he didn't know that he was going to start. And this is how he repays my faith. He, he saw that I went, you know what? I believe in you. I have a feeling that he's going to score. And he's like, boss, I got you. 1-0 against Shakhtar. Very good. 17th minute. Good game so far. And a good finish by Miladinovic. Absolutely amazing finish. 5-2. Decent. Playing well. 55% possession. They're not doing super, super well. Budikov has suffered a stubbed finger, which is a bit of an issue. Hmm. I hope that's not going to be a huge thing. I'm sorry. What is this? What is Bodo Glimt's team? They're beating PSG 1-0. Are they the new team to watch out this season? What? And I guess with that weird thing that we just saw and we don't understand. It's 1-0 at halftime. Good goal for Miladinovic. An assist to Lachlan Deans. Yeah, that was a beautiful goal by Miladinovic. Like I said, donate your <laughs> your bonus money for your assist to charity, please. Because that was just a random pass. I mean, so far so good. Popovic is quiet. Milovanovic is quiet, Sfuna Moinata is quiet, and the best part is, let me actually see if it's a true thing, Andre Borza has got a decent rating so far, it's not below 6.8, wow. I generally love when highlights like this happen, basically absolutely nothing happened between the halftime and the 71st minute, but this is a first chance, they do have the ball, so I do worry if it's going to be a counter-attack and they score, or I guess in this case an attack because they initiated the phase of play, but... I mean, we're not doing good and I don't have faith in our defense. It's not been a good start to the season. Maybe I need to start thinking about rejigging the tactic. Maybe because there's been a few updates in between the uploads. Maybe this is what caused the tactic not to work as well. It does need tweaking. You know, we're in a new stage of our partisan era, so we need to look into it. But we are conceding lots of goals and it feels like a lot of goals are conceded from the you know, the crossing aspect. So it does worry that Osdashi has the ball. He finds Kim Kimchuk on the ball, and that's a good finish. That is a good finish. And unfortunately, Vitek with 18 or whatever possession, uh, positioning, sorry, he did not stop Klimchuk from finishing. That was a good half volley. And unfortunately, Miladinovic just could not get there quick enough. A nice cross as well. Vitek could not keep the marker behind him. It looks like he kicked him as well. Ooh. Mm. I mean, it's really frustrating when goals like this kind of go in, especially if it looks a bit janky because, you know, it's not really the game's fault. It's just the graphics fault. So they need to fix that. Boris is on a 6.6. .6. Again, having a shit game. I don't know what's going on. We need to make some subs. So I'm going to take him off for Sasa Serenic. Not really a good start for him there. Rodrigo Mora is going to have to maybe come on. I think maybe that's the best shout. He's a bit better defensively than... Now what's his name? The Sasa Serenic. So we're going to make that sub. Move Valentin Barca on the other side. What else can we do actually at this moment in time? I mean, Muinat is not doing good. So Reiner's going to have to come on. He's done decent off the bench. Matija Popovic. Do we have any more attacking options? We kind of do. Let's put Milovanovic up front. Let's take Popovic off and let's play. Let's, oh, I can't play Marco, can I? He might have to be... It might have to be a cheeky change. So what we're going to do, I think, we're going to take a Popovich. We're going to switch him for Igor Miladinovic, who's done quite well for us so far. And we're going to take Popovich off and put in Matias Villagara, who hopefully can make something, you know, with his beautiful passing and vision. Yeah, give him some more game time there. And apart from that, I'm scared to take off Marko Stamenic, but I wonder if it is time to do so. I'm going to put on Stankovic instead of Stamenic. Very close names and very confusing. But apart from that, there's nothing much else I can do. Unfortunately, I may have shot myself in the foot with loaning out so many players. I mean, on one hand, they'll definitely develop, which is good. On the other hand, I need some attacking options. And this is something we've struggled with because we've struggled with... If Popovich doesn't work out, what the hell do we do with our lives? Which is, yeah, th that is basically something that we worry about. As they do start to play it out. And Malinowski finds himself in lots of space. That's a good counterattack. That's four against three. Klimchuk one on the keeper. Hudikov one on one on the keeper. And that is a goal against the run of play. Hudikov is confused. Hudikov is pissed off. And so 
am I? 2-1 against the run of play. This start of the season is not going good for us. What are we doing? What is everyone's positioning? Vitek is the only person who's still back in space. And I think Mora is doing everything he can to force a transfer by basically playing trash. But they'll just drop your ranking. Look at this. They had four shots. Six six shots, four on target. No, no possession, really. And we're not creating anything. We need to make one final sub. I don't know at this rate what I can do. We don't have that many options. Barco is not doing great either. Uh, what can we do? I mean, I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe we're gonna put Milodinovic up front. Can he even play up front? Well, I can't really do anything. I think we're a little bit screwed. I'm gonna put Deans up here, Stankovic up here. Switch Reiner and Miladinovic, because I think Reiner can play a little bit better. And apart from that, we have absolutely no options. Everyone's a little bit tired. I'm going to put Serenich on. I think that's the last shout that we can do. Can he play up front? Maybe? I remember him playing up front a little bit. No, he can't. Okay. So I guess that's going to be the chance. Hopefully, sending everyone up front can do something for us. If not, we are in trouble. A corner does come in, though, as Barco finds Milankovic, and we just missed the target. Guys, come on. Absolute. I... Yeah, let's not swear on a channel here, for sure. And this looks like to be the worst game I have ever experienced, unless we get a goal right now. Reiner finds Milankovic, who finds a goal. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I have absolutely no idea. But if you wrote anything about the fact that we are getting out the group this year. I have zero faith. I generally have zero faith. I am extremely pissed off that it took basically a last minute goal against Shakhtar. And it looks like they may have a chance as well. Because I'm playing everyone attacking. There's no point getting a draw at this rate. Like you might as well lose to Shakhtar instead of getting a draw against them because you know at the end of the day we are gonna be a little bit struggling as Barco makes a tackle Milinkovic uh, Milinkovic Milinkovic Malinovsky takes a shot hits the post and this was alarm bells ringing as Deans brings the ball out we are on the 14th spot we played three games we have four points I mean Jesus Christ looking at the games we have to play obviously we're playing Liverpool today so that's gonna be something we need to do but we're taking on Slavia Prague Stuttgart, Milan, and United. So we have five games left to play. Yes, technically we should be beating Slavia Prague and Stuttgart. But I should have said the same thing about Porto and Shakhtar as well. We should, honestly, we should, honestly, 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 we should be on nine points already. We're in fact only on four, which is a bit of a pain in the ass because last season we did much better. I have no faith in this. Yes, we beat Milan twice, basically, in the past few years. But I don't know if that's going to go well. So I think this is going to be stressful. Well, we're going to be taking on Liverpool next. I am incredibly pissed off. I'm going to need to take a break between these two games because I'm still a little bit fed up. Maybe play a bit of Helldivers. Calm down. Kill some bugs. And I'll see you guys for the Liverpool game in a bit. Isn't that nice to record? It is technically the same episode. But you'll be, see you'll be seeing me... But you'll be seeing me a few hours later. Mm. But you'll be seeing me who's hopefully a bit more calmer and a bit less pissed off at Liverpool. Right, don't go anywhere. I will go and play some games. Calm down and I will see you guys in a second. I look a little bit different. Well, um, yeah. So when I left to uh, play a video game called Helldivers, I spent too long and it was too late to record that day. So I decided that I'm going to record the next day. Isn't it nice? You get to see a different me. Hopefully a less miserable me, but nonetheless. Anyways, we're taking on Liverpool today. And so far, so good. In the league, we've actually had a very nice run of form. And that's not really surprising. You know, we are the best team in Serbia, by the way. But we have two clean sheets in a row. My apologies. We have three clean sheets in a row. Though, that being said, it's against the weaker sides. And it also coincides with a different goalkeeper. But anyways, after the Shakhtar game, we took on Radnički 3-0 against them. Sufanat Moinata with a double and Matij Popovic with a singular goal. And Aleksandr Kalichanin is the keeper that has played all those three games. Hurikov was given a rest. This kid is good. 
He looked, okay, I say he's good. He's got lots of potential. I think the 20 determination is extremely, extremely helpful. He looks good for a 16-year-old keeper. And so far, he's had, well, three games this season and three clean sheets, which is absolutely insane, especially taking into account that Hudikov, the better goalkeeper, has not done so. 7-0 against Sloboda in the Serbian Cup first round. I mean, Sloboda is actually in the first league. I was thinking they're in a non-league team, but hey oh, that's not too bad for them. But nonetheless, a 7-0 result. Lots of people on the score sheet. Lots of people that usually don't play on the score sheet, especially Rasislav Petras, who I'm going to give him a bit more game time this year. I think last time he went... No, he didn't go alone. I just kind of ignored him for a little bit. But he's doing okay for us. He's developing quite nicely. Again, another highly determined player. Not really good at physicals. Unfortunately, Serbian players are not really good at that. But technically, he's a very good player. And he scored this game, which is absolutely incredible. And apart from that, Saldanja with a double got a 10.0 rating, meaning lots of assists. And who else should I bring up? I mean, Dorovic played, Villagara played, uh, like I said, Petras played. So yeah, quite a rotated side there. And finally, we beat Grafichar 2-0 with a goal from Reiner and Len Min Tran. Yeah, that's what happens when you rotate the squad. Things look different. But yeah, let's not beat about the bush. What are we going to do today? Well, today we're taking on Liverpool. And today, this means we're playing in a slightly different formation. So my thought process is, this is a very good team. As you know, they played really well against us, despite the fact that they only beat us 1-0 on aggregate. And so, because our defensive kind of play has been trash, I'm trying to play a bit more passive in a 4-3-3, a bit more structured. And basically, it's going to be something similar to what we usually have, apart from, where is it? Apart from the fact that, I keep clicking the wrong thing, we're going to be more disciplined here and probably play out a little bit faster, maybe, just to kind of, although Liverpool will press us, so maybe, <laughs> yeah, you know, let's keep it there, let's, let's not do it, let's keep it slightly shorter, maybe we'll change it at some point, but basically the thought process is we are going to be a bit more organized which is nice you know Liverpool is a strong side that's going to counter us and not just counter us control the play quite a lot so we don't need to make any mistakes there but apart from that the squad will look like this we're gonna have Hudikov and goal we're gonna have Borz on left hand side on a support duty which is quite important so he doesn't get isolated Milinkovic and Vitek in the back two and Sanjust on the right as a wing back on defend trying to stop someone who's on the left hand side not Salah it's the opposite of Salah but anyways trying to stop someone yeah he's right footed right yeah, that was my thought process. Anyways, move on before I say anything stupid. The midfield three is going to be Staminic, Deans, and Vilgara, who, or Villagra, sorry, who's actually had a decent start to the season. And so far, as a deep line playmaker, he's good. He's got decent tackle and decent marking. So I guess like he'll help us a little bit in the midfield and also kind of play it out from the back, which would be quite interesting. And up front, it's going to be basically... a. W and up front, it's going to be three players that you usually see. We're going to have Muinata, Popovic, and Saldanya up front. And Popovic is going to be cosplaying Bobby Firmino. Yeah, the Shakhtar game was a disappointment, but hopefully today... I mean, Liverpool is great. Honestly, Liverpool is a great side, so maybe it's not the best thing to kind of put all my hopes on this. This is their side. Gjorikers, Jota, Zbolozai, McAllister, Salah, Neves, Gomez, Ergarcia, Konate, and Trent Alexander... Arnold. This is a terrifying side. We are playing at home, which is good. You know, again, thank you. You guys will give us the hope and push that we need. But man, it's Liverpool. I mean, they have a first corner straight away in the third minute. What's going to happen from there? The cross comes in. Georges doesn't get it. We win a corner. Let's freaking go. Diego Jota finds João Neves. Oh my god, they have wonder kids all over the place. And Eric takes a shot. And Eric Garcia. Eric freaking Garcia, the center back. Eric Garcia scores a goal from outside the box he doesn't even have that good long shots what is he doing playing for Liverpool I don't understand and that's a goal already putting us on a back foot in the fourth minute no one comes to mark him unfortunately just a first touch he pretty much toe pokes it at least that's what it looked on the camera and it's one nil I mean not really good stuff there it's the seventh minute and a second highlight ay yeah 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 what is gonna happen Diego Schota is gonna come and test Sanjust, who has never played in this position for us yet, but, you know, it's always a first time, and it's, you know, always exciting, as João Neves finds the Bolzai, who finds Diego Jota, who finds Georgnes, who is offside, and he can't score. Alarm bells all over the place. It is the seventh minute. They've had two big chances, and I wonder if it's time for me to change my tactic, because it's just not working, and we might as well change something. As the ball comes into Moinata, who looks like to be offside, and Kelleher collects. It's okay, so they, they're not taking us seriously, 
but the rest of the side is extremely serious. I mean, Kelleher, man, imagine being the number two to Allison. That is insane. How do you do this? Right? You know that for the rest of your life, if you stay at Liverpool, you will always be the number two unless something happens to Allison. So it's a bit strange. And Kelleher has always been a very decent number two. It's a bit interesting. I am curious to see in the future and in real life what happens to him. But so far, he is the Liverpool number two for you know the foreseeable future. As Liverpool is playing some nice football and it looks like it doesn't honestly matter how we position ourselves because they're finding... Well, a shit ton of space pretty much everywhere in the middle, down the middle, down the right-hand side, down the left-hand side as Georgness finds the back of the net and it's time for some subs. 2-0, I think it was a mistake to play like this. What can we do to stop this? Well, honestly, we need to change things pretty much straight away. Can he play there? Yes, he can. St. Juice can play a bit more defensively, meaning that Villagara can play deep-line playmaker here and maybe push forward. But apart from that, we're back to playing the way we need to. 2-0. Oh, no. I mean, this is why I try never to make any changes to my tactics. This is why I pretty much just use the one tactic that works. Maybe I need to start developing a good tactic for these teams because the way that the tactic we use is very defensively unstable, which is an issue. But although the passes are quite good, Popovic, one on the keeper, can he put their way? He can. Ref puts his hand up. Why is your hand up? No, come on. The, we, we've made a change. We've gone back more attacking. We need to be rewarded for this. Please, please, ref. Please, I beg you. I beg you. You... <sighs> I mean, it's tough. We're playing Liverpool. We've just gotten back into the game, but it's 2-0. It might be something too hard to climb. Yes, we've had the one good chance at the end, but it doesn't count, unfortunately. We've been terrible. Honestly, we have been terrible. I need to start working on my depth. I think we need to start approaching, you know, and using some of our money. We need to start buying more experienced players because looking at our side right now, literally only Martinelli is the best player, I guess, that we have signed who will be, in my opinion, a world-class player. But apart from that, we don't have many good players that are ready yet. They're so young. They're so good for the future. But I'm really tired of not making it anywhere. And money's there. Maybe I need to spend it. Maybe I'm being too... Not greedy. What's the point? Yeah, maybe I'm being too greedy. Maybe I'm trying to collect all that money. Maybe I need to do something with it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. I'm going to start the second half. Because really, no one has played really bad. So I can't really blame anyone. Although that being said, Saldana, Moinata, and Popovic are being completely isolated and they're not doing anything. Look at that, 6.4, 6.3, 6.4 rating. But what can you do? Liverpool is just controlling the play. At least in previous games, we had most of the possession. I think we've given them away too many chances to do stuff. And they've punished us. They've punished us twice. Yes, one of the goals should not have counted, unfortunately. I think that was just a lucky shot. But, you know, it's Liverpool. They're a good enough side to do this. As Salah finds lots of space between Borza and the pitch. Diego Jota gets a shot and it blocked. And we can counter? Saldana, can you bring it up anywhere interesting? Can somebody help him? N no. No, they can't. And I think it's time for me to make some subs. 60th minute. We have plenty of time to recover. But do we have the players to recover? Well, I mean... I think the best shot will be to take off all of them. I think all three of them will need to go. And I think this will mean that we're going to make a triple change. So we're going to have Milovanovic going in instead of Popovic. Uh, behind him, we're going to put Reiner. Sorry, I misclicked. I actually didn't realize. We're going to put Reiner as the shadow striker behind Milovanovic instead of who was there before, Moenata. And on the right, we're going to put on Barrios, who, as you know, is a very, very, very good super sub that I've promised that he's going to be an important player. He, he won't be, but... You know, last time we did it, he scored a goal. Can he do it again? I really hope so. And finally, oh man, we don't have depth in the midfield. We don't have any depth in the midfield, which is unfortunate. Can I do something? Potentially. No, we're missing Basic cr like crazy. Honestly, we are. Uh, Villagara is not doing too bad. I'll keep him on for now. I mean, a slightly positive note, St. Juice has a 7.0 rating, which is one of the only people that have a 7.0 rating, which is good, which means that I did at least one thing correct by playing him on the right-hand side. He has been well, at least keeping Jota a little bit quiet. It's the 78th minute. They are playing it out from the back. Villagara steals the ball off Harvey Elliott. Barrios is not where he should be, and he 
does something that he shouldn't have been. And he cut off Sanjust as Robertson is going to be chasing against Deans, who looks like a shark chasing a, a human. Robertson finds lots of space. Georgnes, this guy is missing every single shot. He's not doing super good. We need to make one final sub. I think we might have to play two up front. Where is Petras? I think Petras comes back from the youth academy from the brief stint he's done since last year when we had too many strikers back in the champions league this man is getting lots of chances and i think with that in mind can i do anything else san is the only good player Borza's is playing bad so valentin barco is going to step up instead the wonder kid himself hopefully he can you know improve on andre borza who's been playing like trash for the past few games. I do want to bench him. Unfortunately, I promised him that I'm going to be playing him a bit more often. As Harvey Elliott takes his time and my boys are meandering over. That's kind of hilarious. They're just they're just walking there. Let's play it out of the back. Milinkovic, who hasn't done well. I'm I'm really pissed off. It, I was expecting a world-class center back. Unfortunately, he's just a center back in the world. Um, yeah, he, he exists. Not doing good against the big teams as Deans finds himself in lots of space and a missed pass to Alexander-Arnold and Salah will run. Can Barco overtake him? Barco can, but unfortunately that's not good enough. Giorkes, another chance for the man, finds Elliot, finds Luis Diaz, finds João Neves. Man, the way the Liverpool plays is absolutely incredible. Salah finds João Neves. We need to stop the shot from outside the box, please. That would be absolutely nice. We do, but he does cut in through everyone. Robertson cross in, Hudikov. Almost fumbles that in. Scary stuff happening at the Partizan Stadium. And, you know, 2-0. Not good at all. João Neves. Man, we are... This is this has been an awful... This has been an awful episode. I am so sorry to everyone who's watched it or listened to it. It is what it is. I need to start thinking about better tactics for big games. And there's a penalty shout. Please don't give a penalty. Okay, we're good. <laughs> but we are playing, and Petras is on a counter-attack. Finds Milovanovic in lots of space. From one side of the box to another. From one side of the pitch to the other. Can we find Barco? That's an awful pass. Very long. Barco, this is your chance. Puts a beautiful cross in. Finds who? Finds who? Finds no one. Finds Barrios. This is our chance. Get one back in. Barrios. Oh, Sergio Barrios. Sergio. Freaking Barrios. Every time he comes off the bench, he freaking scores. And Kelleher... Could do absolutely nothing about that deflection. Everyone, we need to send everyone up. We have a chance to steal it. Just like we did against Shakhtar. We were losing. And then we weren't. Oh my god. This is a chance. Robertson could do nothing about it. Harvey Elliott should have probably done something. Unfortunately, Kanate got in the way of that goal. We have a chance to do something. We have no more subs to do it. I've went attacking. Can I change anything? Most likely, probably not. They might score right now. As they have an attack. As Luis Diaz finds Georgias. Who Vitek stops. And Deans... Cannot get it out. The man has been playing badly today. I think... Does it reflect on his score? No. 6.7. He's been playing okay. He's been getting lots of turnovers. Unfortunately, Luis Diaz. Giorgis. Another chance. He's offside. Ref. He's offside. Ref. He's offside. I saw I saw this. Come on. Victor Giorgis. That's his third chance. Fourth big chance of the game? Third? Maybe? Will it be good enough? They didn't give us the goal. Are they going to give them the goal? Yes, okay, they're not. That is good. That is good. We still have a chance. We need to go... Oh, do I go very attacking? That's pretty much a conceding point straight away. I maybe will make one more change. And potentially... Oh, I don't even know what to do anymore. Because this is probably the best we can do. Maybe stick Reiner on the left-hand side. Just kind of give us a bit more width. Maybe go a bit faster. Go a bit more direct. I think that will be the best chance we can do. Just push everyone out, spread the play. They're abusing us in the midfield. We only had two shots and one on target, which I didn't notice. But we do have possession. And we also have a loss. As time runs out, Jurgen Klopp defeats me again. 2-1, a very close game. We just don't create chances. Man, again, Liverpool beats us. That's the third game we've played against them. Third loss. Well, technically it was a draw. One of them was a draw. So I guess that's fine. Man, we are just not good enough. Yeah, it was a 2-1, close enough, but man, two shots versus 14 is not good enough. And unfortunately, that, that makes sense. You know, we're not yet on Liverpool's level. It is frustrating to lose, but at the same time, it's only frustrating because we drew with Shakhtar, I'll be honest. Like, that's the game we should have been winning, and if we lost against this, I would be like, you know, fair attempt, boys. So after today's disappointment against Liverpool, I'm actually thinking of playing the Slavia Prague and Stuttgart for you, mainly because... <sighs> 
we've had bad games and I want to show you some good things that we can do. I want to have a positive result. I want to have happiness back in my heart <laughs> because the Partisan boys have been slightly disappointing. And with that in mind, we're taking on Slavia Prague and Stuttgart in the next episode instead of skipping all the way to Milan and Manchester United, which will be an awful result. I want to have at least one day where I am extremely happy. I mean, so far in the group, we're doing okay. We do have a chance to win six more points. And, you know, my... What did I predict? I predicted 11 points. Maybe that's going to be what we get. We have two games that we should be winning, which will get us up to 10. And if we get a draw between any of those games, you know, the United and Milan game, we could be having a good chance. But currently, we sit on one win, one draw, and two losses with an eight goals for a goal against return. Not the worst, not the best. Unfortunately, I want us to do better. But anyways, I'll see you in the next episode. I'm gonna go away and probably cry a little bit. And Boko Glimt! Bode Glimt, sorry. They're doing very, very well. These guys... These guys are just lucky, aren't they? Unbelievable. Ha! They lost against PSG. Phew! Alright, and on that bombshell, I will leave you and I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully I have time to recover and be happy by that. Bye guys.